In this video, we want to learn how we can use symmetry to evaluate the double integrals. Our first example is, we want to find the double integral of xy to the 3 over x4 plus 9 dA over this region. x is between negative 2 and 2, and y is from 0 to 2. Attention, we don't want to find the value of this integral with the integral methods. We want to use the symmetry for finding the value of the integral. First, let's draw the region of this integral. x is between negative 2 and 2. So let's suppose here is negative 2, 2 is here, and y is between 0 and 2. So the region of this integral is this rectangle. x is between negative 2 and 2, and y is between 0 and 2. So this is the region that we want to find the integral of this function over this region. Now let me remind you a property for integral of odd functions. If you remember from um, integral of one variable, integral of functions with one variable, when a function is odd, then integral of this function from negative a to a is zero. We had this property for odd functions. When we are finding the integral from attention negative a to a, this is important. And this is because when a function is odd, the graph of odd functions is symmetric with respect to origin, something like this. For example, this is an example of odd function. And if the interval of the integral is from negative a to a, then as you can see, the area that is below x-axis is exactly equal to the area that is above x-axis and these two because one of them is negative the integral of one of them is negative the integral of the other one is positive integral of this region is positive integral of this region is negative and they cancel each other so the integral is zero this was one property that we had for integral of functions with one variable we have a similar property for functions with multivariables two variables, three variables, and more. But before we talk about that, let me remind you what was odd function. A function is odd if f of negative x equals negative of f of x. For example, f of x equals x to the 3 is an example of odd function. Or f of x equals x, or f of x equals sine of x. Why these functions are odd? Because if you attention, odd function is a function that when we give negative x as the input of the function, we can move the negative to the outside of the function. For example, why x to the 3 is odd function? Because if you attention, when we are finding f of negative x for this function, f of negative x is negative x to the power of 3. And we can simplify and write this as negative x to the 3. As we can see, we can move the negative to the outside and we can move the negative to the outside of the original function. So, sine of x, x to the t, these are examples of odd functions. And remember, this is important to memorize definition of odd function. A function is odd if f of negative x is negative of f of x. Now, let's talk about functions with multivariables. And let's see what is the property similar to this property for functions with multivariables. Consider this function. z equals f of x and y. We say this function is odd with respect to x. Attention, because here we have two variables. We have to discuss about being odd, a function is odd with respect to x, or it can be odd with respect to y, or it can be odd with respect to both of the variables. But a function with two variables, like this one, is odd with respect to x if f of negative x and y equals negative f of x and y. So again, odd function is a function that if we give to the input a negative, we can move that negative to the outside. And this function is odd with respect to x because when we give x, we change x to negative x, we can move the negative to the outside of the function. If a function has this property, 
and attention this is important and also the region that we are finding the integral over that region so if we have an integral over region r of the function f of x and y dA dA can be dx dy or dy dx doesn't matter if this region it is really important if this region is symmetric with respect this is really important please attention is symmetric with respect to y axis or in another word what is y axis y axis is basically the line x equals zero so if the function is odd with respect to x and this is, means a function is odd if a function is odd with respect to x and the region that we are finding the integral over that region is symmetric with respect to y axis or x equals zero like this region that here we have in this example if you attention this region which is a rectangle is symmetric with respect to y axis or x equal zero as you can see in the right side and the left side they are the same then the value of this integral without calculation is zero and we have a similar statement like this one for y variable but for now for this particular question that here we have let's see is this function here odd with respect to x or not here in this question the function that we are finding its integral is x y cubed over x4 plus 9 attention a function is with is odd with respect to x if it has this property in this function let's see what is f of negative x and y if we can write this in the form of negative f of x and y then this means that this function is odd with respect to x for finding f of negative x and y we have to substitute x here and here with negative x if we do so we have negative x times y to the 3 over negative x to the 4 plus 9 this equals negative x y to the 3 negative x to the 4 is x4 the negative cancels plus 9 if you attention this is the original function but with one negative here so this equals so this can be written as negative of the original f the original f is this but we have a negative here so this equals negative of this so as you can see now we know that this function is odd with respect to x because f of negative x and y is negative f of x and y so we have the condition the first condition this function here is odd with respect to x because we checked this condition and this function satisfies this condition so it is odd the other thing that we have to check is that the region that we are finding the integral over that region should be symmetric with respect to y-axis it seems that I have erased this y-axis that was here by looking at this rectangle we can see that it is completely symmetric with respect to y-axis whatever is in the right side is in the left side it is symmetric with respect to y-axis or x equals zero so without doing anything without any calculation we can conclude that the double integral of the function x y to the 3 over x 4 plus 9 over region r is zero without any calculation we can get this answer of the integral and attention that it's not necessary that this rectangle to be this this region to be rectangular it can be any region as long as this region 
is symmetric with respect to y-axis, this integral is 0. For example, suppose instead of this rectangle, the region is a semicircle, half of a circle, like this. Then this integral over this circle is 0 again, because this circle, this half of a circle, is symmetric with respect to y-axis. Or let's say, instead of this region, we have a full circle. Again, because it's symmetric with respect to y-axis, this integral over this circle is also zero. So as you can see, this property is very valuable, but it depends to many conditions. The function should be odd and the region should be symmetric. Before I show you the next question, let me tell you the condition for y variable. If the function is odd with respect to y, here we wrote the condition for x variable. If the function is odd with respect to y variable, which means that if we have this condition f of x and negative y equals negative f of x and y, then this means that the function is odd with respect to variable y. And so if you have this property and the region is symmetric with respect to x-axis this time or y equals 0 then the integral is also 0 so if the function is odd with respect to variable y and the region is symmetric with respect to x variable or y equals 0 then the integral the double integral of the function over that region is also 0 now let's do the next question. Here, as you can see, we have a complicated expression here. We want to find the double integral of this expression over this region. First, let's draw the region that we want to find the integral over that region. x is between negative pi and pi. Here is negative pi, let's suppose, and here pi. y is also between pi and negative pi. And so the region is this rectangle, which is basically a square. So this is our region that we want to find the integral of this function over this region. Now let's take a look at this expression here. As we can see, this function has three parts. 2, which is a constant, x2 sine y, and cosine y sine x. Let's write this expression, let's write this integral in this form. I am going to split this integral and I am going to write it in the form of double integral of 2 over the region r dA, then minus double integral over region r of x2 sine of y. Based on the properties of integral, we can split the integral and we can find integral of each part separately. Plus double integral over region R of cosine y. So let me write it here. Plus double integral over region R of cosine y sine x d. First of all, note that this region that we want to find integral of this function over this is symmetric with respect to y-axis and is symmetric with respect to x-axis. So it is symmetric to both of the axes. Now, let's see which of these functions that here we have is odd. 2 is a number, 2 is a constant. And constants, it doesn't matter the value of the constant, 2, 1, 1 half, 5, doesn't matter the value. The constant functions are not odd functions. They are even functions. So for that, we cannot do anything. But what about this function, x2 sine of y? Let me write down this function here, f of x and y equal, let me name it, f of x and y, x2 sine of y. 
if you attention this function is odd with respect to variable y not variable x because x is raised to the 2 so this part is even but sine of y is odd function so this function is odd with respect to variable y let me tell you the reason briefly here because f of x and negative y equals x to sine of negative y we know that for sine we can move negative to the outside so this equals negative x to sine of y and this equals negative of the original function negative of f of x and y so this proves that this function is odd with respect to y so this function is odd with respect to variable y and because this region of the integral is symmetric with respect to y equals 0 or x-axis so what we, can, what we can conclude for the value of this integral the value of this integral without calculation is 0 what about the other integral? let's name this expression here g g of x and y we define it as cosine y sine of x this function is odd with respect to variable x because again attention you have sine of x here similar to here the sign is odd so this function is odd with respect to x and because this function is odd with respect to x and this region is symmetric with respect to x equals 0 this line or y axis what we can conclude for this integral this integral is also 0 so it seems that the only thing that here we have to calculate is this integral here which here 2 is a constant so this integral let me erase here we don't need this anymore so the integral that only we have to calculate is double integral of 2 da over region r 2 is a constant we can move it to the outside 2 double integral of da over region r we know that whenever we have only da and the function is 1 integral of 1 da over a region shows the area of that region remember that when we have double integral over a region and the function is 1 here this double integral is the value of this double integral is area of the region what is area of this a square or rectangle the area of this rectangle don't forget we have a two outside so leave the two outside the area of this rectangle is length times width from here to here which is the length or width is from negative pi to pi is 2 pi this is also 2 pi so 2 pi times 2 pi times 2 would be equal to 8 pi to the 2 and attention that if you don't like to find the value of this integral with this method simply you can substitute da with dx dy and then simply you can integrate with respect to x and then with respect to y and then you can find this value with that method but this method i think is a better way for finding this integral although it's very simple i hope by watching this video now you have learned how to use symmetry to evaluate the double integrals or you can extend this idea to triple integrals and higher dimensions. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.